Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be um, <clears throat> Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising Weekly Tarot and the Normand Reading for November 5th to November 11th, 2018. And uh, while I'm doing the shuffling, uh, I want to remind you once again uh, that this is a, a general reading for uh, Aries star sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but at the end falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, <clears throat> then this is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And uh, also, if you haven't already checked, um, the monthly videos of November are, are now out on the YouTube channel. So if you want to know what awaits uh, your star sign, what is the, potent, uh, the potential there, what, what are the prospects for your star sign, feel free to check them out. <clears throat> So, uh, what we do have is the usual four card spread, uh, and we are going to go with the tarot spread first. Now, the first card here is about the topic of your Aries is uh, weak, and that is to be the judgment card. And the judgment on its own is a, um, um, a very broad card because it generally signifies the wake up call. Uh, in general, this could manifest in, in, in every single field of your, of your life, either into your relationship and either into your career. But what that wake-up call represents is usually a way out, a, a way out of a, a troublesome situation, or especially if uh, you are hitting a wall and simply you are stuck, you know, you're in a dead end. Uh, <clears throat> situation here not knowing what to do how to react how to take approach uh, and in general how to make something that will improve your circumstances well <clears throat> with the judgment card this kind of an answer or a option available is to be presented to you either career wise or either relationship wise judgment card also may signify pregnancy so be on a watch out for that as it is a rebirth here. If you know, in, if you see in the, in the uh, traditional deck, we do have a, a people waking up from their coffins, so it's kind of like a symbol of a new life. <laughs> so if you want to be, if you want to get yourself pregnant, well, maybe this is the week where you are to become. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, in general, we are to see what the judgment its meaning on its profound level when we go with the next card but just so you know as a topic this week is to be a week of a breakthrough <clears throat> in either career wise or relationship wise the second card that we do have this is the core of the situation this is why the judgment is um, taking place and now we have much more practical meaning of those couple of cards now we know that it is about human relationships not necessarily uh, <clears throat> uh, regarding your intimate relationship that could be uh, friendship as well but these couple of cards here signify that uh, you are uh, you are to realize that you either get get mistreated from somebody or uh, you are to realize that people aren't exactly sincere with you and now it's time for a change of scenery. So that could provoke, this week could provoke in you a um, personal realization or an insight that simply you have to uh, re replace yourself into a different social circle or to start um, kind of having more interactions with different people. The Tree of Swords is a typical card. Well, I know that many people say that it is a card of pain, it is a card of suffering, uh, heartache um, to a certain extent, but uh, I will not be tired of repeating that this card is about uh, the mental pain or the pain that one inflicts on oneself through its mental capabilities. So what I mean here is, is that, yeah, maybe someone betrayed your trust, 
yeah, someone may not fulfill their promise or you maybe found your partner in relationship cheating or you realize that your boss ain't going to give you the promotion they um they promised to you back in the in the recent past and this is what literally the card could signify but thinking all over it and asking yourself how these people could have done something like this to you I'm gonna solve and I'm going to improve the situation what is going to improve the situation is when you determine yourself to just you know cut ties with that poignant experience and focus more toward the future and this is where the realization of what you need to focus on the rebirth of yourself of your you know mental direction if i may say that way is to emerge and the very least you will no longer have any patience for uh, dealing with the shenanigans that other people are trying to uh, exert on your platter the next card it is a, about the challenges that you are to face through um, through this week and we have the nine of wands so on a uh, very global level the nine of wands is about patience it is a, about as well uh, being able to deflect adversaries to a certain extent but the nine of uh, the nine of wands is more like the adaptation all right because it's kind of like a, this card represents on a profound level the uh the changes one could can do on a conscious level into their environment for example changing your routine um <clears throat> changing your schedule as well changing your desk if you want to say it that way or in that specific case you know changing the people that you are um interacting with so that that could be related to some ties that you do have with those who you find traitor uh, traitors or those who basically no longer suit to be in your social circle as they have betrayed your trust but uh, <clears throat> it is not uh, something that can be overwhelming what I mean is that should you be extremely determined to do so you can do it probably it is because you become uh, quite used to be among those people and quite used to be involved into a those situations which prove to be rather poignant but don't don't get mistaken i mean i'm sorry i'm using different deck from the traditional one because here was the time where i would have explained I, I would have pointed to you the very picture of the judgment card pointing to that the angel blows and then the rebirth happens so this although the week has a, a prerequisite and a foundation of something poignant recently happening in your um <clears throat> in your environment like betrayal uh, uh, cheating uh, or a, a failure of a project or simply denial that week is to be the rebirth where you you know kind of like a, a rise from the ashes and basically take a, a a new approach in your life and that new approach needs to have a, a new routine and this will be the challenge that you gotta do here the new routine that you need to fit yourself in the last card that we do have is the guidance which show wow, out that is quite a very strong guidance that we do have here 10 swords points that you need to be uh, very determined to put an end of it all right i mean what we do have here now is the insight that the end needs to be uh set but should you set the end of it it is entirely up to you as it falls as the guidance in this specific case the ten of swords represents the final decision that you are to make or it is advisable for you to make uh, the, the those irrevocable decisions those irreversible actions that one needs to uh, have the courage to do so one can basically embark a new era of their life so for example just for example here guys um you found your partner cheating and your partner says well that is not gonna happen again you know because this is usually what people say and what the ten of swords asks you to do is to say no it's not gonna happen because we are no longer be together you know you betrayed me once and you can betray me twice 
So it's kind of those irrevocable and irre irrevocable decisions and irreversible actions that may be very hard to be done, but deep down within yourself, you will know that they are absolute necessity. So you can detach yourself from the poignancy of whatever noxious thing it is within your environment. So that was the uh, tarot reading uh, for the week. Uh, for you, uh, Aries is. And now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards, uh, which are going to show us a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid. So let me cut them. And what we do have, that will be the bucket, and the bucket stands uh, for bonus, it stands for a um, <clears throat> appreciation as well, and it stands for gift. Then what we do have here, it is the next one that is to be the key. And the key stands for opening or closing. It stands for discovery as well. And in some cases, in, uh, it stands for resolution. And the last one, uh, what we do have, this is going to be the birds. The birds uh, are standing for gossips. They are standing for as well phone call or social media. So uh, there is a two possible events that could happen um, defined by those cards. Either bonus is going to be, or a possibility to have a, a bonus is going to be um, kind of like acknowledged to you through a phone call or a social media, or you are to receive a, an, an appreciation through the social media, I mean, you will have the opportunity to be appreciated through the social media. So it's kind of like an opportunity here, an event that is going to open you an opportunity here, more than something that is carved in stone and, uh, you know, it kind of takes away your... Um, um, your free will. And I could strongly advise you to take advantage of this opportunity because afterwards, after um, after all, we do have a week of a rebirth and everything new that you can start throughout this week is to be something that you will look forward to further into the future, to develop, of course, and something that is going to help you to hang on in there uh, as you have to go through the very final push and this whatever point your experience you do have in your life. So that being said, uh, Aries, this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And again, remember that this was just a general reading for Aries star signs and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I try here my best to uh, explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal personal readings, please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are uh, going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!